Everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Cordy R750 Robovac in Mop. I did receive this product to review, but any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see the nice retail box and packaging right here walking us through some of the product features. We also have their warranty information on the back. We have a 12 month warranty and all of their customer service and contact info with additional product features. This is a Wi-Fi smart Robovac and mop that'll work with iOS and Android devices. You can also enable it to work with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant and it features 2000 PA strong suction. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents. First up, you can see our product literature right here. We have our warranty card followed by our app installation manual right here. So we have a QR code instructing us to download the Cordy Robot app from iOS and Android app stores. Create an account, they walk you through step-by-step -step how to set everything up and add your device. They even have instructions for setting this up with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. Their customer service information on the back for you again. Next, you can see we have our owner's manual walking us through all the product details. You can see the table of contents right here. So basically we have safety information followed by our product information and controls. You can see the different accessories, remote control features and options. You can see how to operate and program everything. Quick start guide. QR code for the mobile app instructions again. So they really walk you through everything you need to know about how to use and set up the RoboVac. Next, you can learn more about the included boundary strips, how to use those. Then you can see we have the mopping feature right here too, how to use that. Cleaning schedule option with different cleaning modes, how to care for the RoboVac, what you should be doing and how often. And you can see we have some cleaning right here how to just properly care for everything, battery removal. Then you can see we have some troubleshooting options for you. And then we have our tech specs and FAQ section. So this takes between 300 and 360 minutes to charge and we get a max battery life cleaning time of 120 minutes. This is a 3200 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, 28 watts. Customer service contact information. Next, you can see we have a really helpful quick start guide walking us through the same features in five simple steps. Prep your area, plug in the charging base, make sure the charging dock is in a proper position, activate the robot by pressing the power button on the bottom of the device, then start your cleaning cycle if you need further assistance, customer support and social media right here. So you can see that. Then in regards to package contents, we have our remote control. We have two included AAA batteries for the remote, a nice cleaning tool, 3M adhesive. We have cable management. We have a replaceable air filter, an extra one. We have our side cleaning brushes with replacements, power supply for the charging base, an extra mop cleaning pad. You can see our mopping module right here. Check that out. Everything looks great. We just put the water right in here and then just press that close. And then you can see right here on this side, we have our level from 100 milliliters up to 300 milliliters. And a friendly reminder to take the water tank out when charging. You can see we can just easily press that button to remove it from the RoboVac. And the pads are just held on with Velcro, so we can easily swap those out. Then you can see we have our boundary strips right here. We have a two pack of those. We have our charging base with indicator light. You can see our charging contacts. Here it is from that side, the back side with our cable management right here. You can see it from the other side. And here it is from the bottom with nice grip feet to keep it in place with additional instructions. And last but not least, we have the vacuum itself right here. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. Here's the RoboVac up close. You can see from the top, we have a beautiful design and pattern. It looks great with the Cordy logo and branding, our power button, our Wi-Fi indicator light. Then we can go ahead, let's flip it over to this side. You can see our removable dust bin. Let's go ahead, let's look at that in more detail. You can see it's a second gen dustbin. We can go ahead, we can pop this open to reveal our air filter. We can easily remove, clean, and replace. We can snap that shut again. Then we can go ahead, we can open up the dustbin itself right here to easily empty the contents and give it a nice clean. And then we can just go ahead, we can gently slide it right back in place. Now let's keep looking at the RoboVac. You can see it from the side right here. Then you can see it from the front with our front bumper, IR navigation. 
Here it is from the other side. You can see our sensors and ventilation. Now we can flip it over to the bottom. You can see we have our cliff sensors right here, our omnidirectional wheel, our charging contacts, battery compartment. We have our side brush attachments right here. You can see the wheels, our main brush. This is removable to easily clean the main brush as needed. And we can just gently snap everything back in place. We have our on and off button right here. And then we have a nice troubleshooter indicator right here for us if we get a couple different beeps and what they mean with the accompanying light. Nice little built-in wheel as well for the dustbin. So you can see it from the bottom. Now let's go ahead, let's finish setting up the RoboVac. So there's a couple different things we have to do before we first use the RoboVac. The first one is go ahead, remove the bumper protectors right there. So get those out of the way. Then you can see we have this sticker to remove, but we gotta make sure we turn on the power switch on the bottom. So let's remove the sticker, and then you can see we can flip the switch on to turn the vacuum on. Now we're ready to install the side brushes. You can see we have this square mount that just fits right in. Just gently press them in place. You can see we got one installed right there. Now let's go ahead, let's do the other side brush. Same thing, just line it up and gently press in place. Now the vacuum cleaner's ready to go for us to try it out. But first, let's go over the remote controls. So we got the batteries installed in the remote control. You can see the nice display right here. We have a bunch of different buttons and controls to go over. So first up, we have our auto clean mode, followed by our auto recharging button. Then you can see we have our manual directional keys right here in arrow, so we can drive the RoboVac using this remote and our start and pause button right there. Then on the left-hand side, you can see we have our clock setup button followed by our spot cleaning mode. Then we have our small space, our room cleaning button. Then on the right-hand side, you can see we have our scheduling button followed by our edge clean if we wanna just clean the perimeter. And then we have our max suction button right here to get that 2000 PA suction. Now let's go ahead, just for fun, let me show you that the remote control works and it's very responsive. So we can drive the vacuum right here manually, check that out. And look at how good of a job it's doing. And you can see, I can just, when I push the back arrow, it just takes little tiny movements back. But if I go forward, it's gonna drive forward a lot further. So that's just a precaution so it doesn't back up and go off your steps or any sort of obstacle like that since there's no cliff sensor in the back right there. So just keep that in mind. We can drive forward, we can turn it around. It's super responsive and very easy to drive with the remote control. Now you can see I have a boundary strip installed right here and we're gonna test out the vacuum to see if it's gonna cross that threshold. Keep in mind boundary strips are great to prevent your RoboVac from going in an area that you do not want it to clean in or be in. I'm thinking really thick shag rugs, maybe around your Christmas tree, pet food bowls. If you have a lot of shoes on the ground, maybe a lot of shoelaces that could get tangled in the RoboVac, a lot of wires, cords, that sort of thing. That's where these boundary strips are gonna come in handy. So let's go ahead, let's enable a quick spot cleaning mode and see if it's gonna to try to cross the threshold. So here we go, you can see right there, it did not cross it. It's gonna come back around. Same thing, it is not gonna go past the strip. One more time. There you go, you can see that strip prevents it from going over and getting into an area that you don't want it to be in. Now we have the Cordy robot app downloaded on our mobile device. Once you have it downloaded, you'll sign in and create an account. Once you do that, you'll be at this home screen where we're ready to add a new device. You can see we currently have the Cordy R580 added to our account. Let's go ahead, let's add our new RoboVac. Let's select the plus icon in the top right hand corner. Now we can choose from a list of devices. So in this case, it's the Cordy R750. Now at this screen, we have to enter our Wi-Fi information and password. Be sure to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. This does not work with five gigahertz Wi-Fi network. So enter your information and then select the next button. Here's the next screen where we're ready to reset our device. So turn the device on, make sure the Wi-Fi indicator light is flashing rapidly. If not, hold down the main button for five seconds or so until you hear a beep and then you've successfully reset the connection. In our case, the indicator light is rapidly blinking, so we can select next. Now it's gonna work on adding the device to our network. So you can see the device was successfully added. It'll take around 30 seconds or so. We can change the name right here, or we can leave it as it is. Let's go ahead, let's select done. Now you can see the device was successfully added. Now we're taking into all the device settings. 
So first, let's go ahead and let's look in the top right hand corner. We have this edit icon where we can view all the settings for this RoboVac. So let's go and let's select that now. You can see we can change the name again, view device information, learn how to set it up with third party controls like Alexa and Google Assistant. We can choose to receive an offline notification. We can also share this device with friends, family members. We can create a group if we want to group this with other devices together to be controlled at the same time. Then you can see feedback section. We can add this to the home screen, check our network, update the device or remove the device. Now let's go back to the main screen right here. You can see our battery level indicator. We have our manual controls to drive the vacuum. Then we have more options at the bottom. You can see we got our auto button right here. So check that out. Our auto cleaning, we can pause that. Then we have our more button. We can choose the suction level. You can see the three different options that we have. Then we have our water level right here. So check that out, low, medium, or high if we have the water tank and compartment installed. Here's our schedule. We can add a schedule. Choose hour, minute, a.m., p.m., which days of the week you want everything to repeat. If you want to add a note, morning routine, bedtime routine, that sort of thing, you can do that right there. Choose to get a notification, and you can choose the cleaning mode right here. You can see that, and we can go back out. Then we have our Find Me option. So let's go ahead, let's select that. So you can see it's going to emit a chime for us to find it. So that's what we got right there to shut it off. Just push the power button. I've been able to get it to shut off that way. So you can see that right there. Then we have the home option. We can push that. It's going to go home to charge. So we can cancel that. Then you can see small room. We can enable that. It's going to go do a clean for us. Edge clean. Same thing. Spot clean. And then we have our accessories right here. So check it out. We can see the useful life expectancy and how much you know wear and tear we've put on our materials. So currently everything's at 100% right now, but they will wind down over time. So we know when it's time to replace them. So you can see all the settings and controls that we have right here within the mobile app. Now let's go ahead, let's let it clean. So the first cleaning mode we're gonna try is the spot cleaning mode. Let's go ahead, let's press that button and try it out. There we go. It's gonna start cleaning in this spot. And you can see it's gonna move in a circular motion. It's gonna start small and expand out and then shrink back in on itself and end in that spot. So there we go, it just finished our spot clean. Next up, we're gonna be doing the small room cleaning mode right here. This works best if you take it to like a bedroom, shut the door and let it clean for 30 minutes. Let's go ahead, let's activate it now so you can at least see it in action. So it's gonna move freely around the room, cleaning in all directions. Next up, we're going to be doing the edge clean right here. It's true to its name, so you can activate the vacuum just to clean along the edges of your room in the perimeter of the house. So let's go ahead, let's do that right now. Now it's going to go find the edges right here and then just move along the baseboards and the cabinets in a nice cleaning sweep right there. But again, it's only going to be at the edges. So just the vacuum cleaners with from the baseboard is all that it's gonna clean, as you can see right here, but it's gonna follow that path and perimeter around your whole house. Now you can see really quickly, I have the home base installed in the middle of the floor just for this video. So you guys can see what it's like for the RoboVac over here to find its way back home. So let's go ahead, let's issue the command. And now it's gonna work on finding its position and going home to charge. Mm -hmm. 
There we go, everything works great. Now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna turn it on auto mode and let it clean the house. So now you can see the RoboVac navigating obstacles here in the house, like our kitchen table and chairs. So check that out. You can see it's moving freely and just fine underneath the chairs, giving us a nice clean. And it's not gonna get stuck. It's able to navigate around the legs, no issues there at all with how it's seeing and processing a difficult environment. Now you can see we have some obstacles for the vacuum cleaner right here, like some shoes on the floor. And we have a rug that's not secured down to the floor. So you can see it's still able to get up on there though. It does move it around a little bit as you would expect since there's no grip on the bottom of the rug. But you can see it can transition between our hard surface and our rug just fine. So let's watch it again right here. It should have a little trouble. You can see it moves the rug around on the floor as you would expect. And then you can see it's able to clean on it, no issues. If we did have some grip under the rug, it wouldn't budge at all, but you can see that isn't even enough of an obstacle to deter the RoboVac. Now you can see the RoboVac's cleaning on our thick shag rug right here. Typically, most RoboVacs get stuck on that rug. It's a very difficult rug to navigate for a RoboVac, so you will see reduced performance as well too if it gets up there, just because it moves a lot slower due to how thick the rug is, and a lot of times, those um, carpet fibers also get stuck in the brush rollers, but you can see right there, oh, it was able to get up. So far, so good, that's impressive. Typically, most mornings I'd wake up and find our RoboVac stuck on that rug if I didn't set any sort of virtual wall or barrier. So you can see though, right here, it is able to drive. It's half on, half off right now. And it's doing way better than I anticipated. Now you can see I have it at the steps right here. I wanted to show you guys that the cliff sensors do work. So we're going to try to drive it off the steps right now. So you can see we have it lined up and we're going for it. There you go. It will not go any further. We can try again. You can see it is not going to drive off there. It is smart enough. Those sensors kick in and it's able to prevent itself from going somewhere where it's not supposed to, like falling down the steps. Let's try it at an angle too. So you can see here we go. And same thing, it is unable to go off. We can turn around though and drive back as needed. And you can see we'll try one more time and we're unable to make it go off of the steps. Now we're ready to try it out on carpet. So let's go ahead, let's have it clean this room. So as you can see, it has no issues at all cleaning on carpet. Now that the floors are clean, I went ahead, I installed the mopping attachment. I filled it up with 300 milliliters of water and we also got the cleaning cloth nice and damp. So let's go ahead, let's check it out and see how it mops. So we have spot cleaning mode on for the mopping right now. You can tell that the suction power is not enabled when you install the mopping attachment. So it's not gonna vacuum and mop, it's just gonna mop for you. And you can see the floor is noticeably damp. I would say it's the equivalent to about you wiping down the floor with just a damp paper towel. Obviously, if you want even more water, you just gotta get the cleaning cloth pre-soaked but you can see what it looks like right here with the damp cleaning cloth. And again, we're using the spot mode. You can see the difference right there where it's mopped and how wet it is versus the dry floor surrounding it. Now you can see we have it mopping in auto mode right here too. So again, it's gonna go back and forth in a randomized pattern. So I think the mopping mode works best personally if you just do the spot clean so you can guarantee the area that you want cleaned will get cleaned and wiped down. So here's a look at the mop pad. There is a little bit of discoloration here where you can see that it was able to pick up some dirt as it was moving around our kitchen here. So you will see noticeable results. Again, like I said, it's about equivalent to wiping up your floor with a damp paper towel.
Now we can sample some of the contents of the dust bin right here so you guys can see what this vacuum cleaner can pick up. We have a nice variety and range of debris from pet hair to human hair to grass clippings to sticks. We also have smaller items you can see more along the size of crumbs, you know, grain of salt, that sort of thing. So it covers a wide variety and range of what it's able to pick up. But you can see those really fine dust particles here in the air filter. So that's pretty important too. So it did a good job. I'm pleased with the suction power that we get out of this RoboVac. So the R750 works with Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant. If you're gonna be setting this up with Google Assistant, here are the commands that you can issue. Turn on Cordy, turn off Cordy, find Cordy, and go home Cordy. You'll be saying Cordy R750 or whatever you name your vacuum cleaner for all of those commands. If you're using Amazon Alexa, we have very similar commands. We can tell it to turn on or turn off. That being said, if you're linking this up with Amazon Alexa, you're gonna have to search for the smart life skill and add that skill. You'll enable your account, which will be your Cordy robot account. But if you already have a smart life account because you use other smart life products, I highly recommend just setting up this RoboVac initially within the smart life app, and then it'll be linked up automatically with all of your other smart life items. So you don't even have to go through the Alexa process again, if you've already set that up with another smart life products. So with that being said, let's go ahead. Let's try it out with voice command. Hey, Alexa, turn on Cordy R750. Here we go. Started up just fine. Hey, Alexa, turn off Cordy R750. Now you can see it shut down and it's going to find its way back home to the charging base. So let's watch it. Here we go. All right, it made its way back home. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after using the Cordy R750. First, I wanna say overall, this is a complete package and kit. It gives you everything you need if you're looking for a budget-friendly two-in-one RoboVac and mop. With that being said though, I personally still only prefer RoboVacs that have LiDAR navigation like the Cordy L900. I just think paying extra for that premium feature is so worthwhile because your smart vac becomes even smarter. It actually has a brain and can think and process and map out your house so you get much better smart features, you get a better clean, and it should get less stuck, less lost, all of that good stuff too because it has, you know, better vision to really get a feel for your environment and it does the logical cleaning pattern so you can basically guarantee the same clean a consistent clean every time but if you're on a very tight budget this is definitely a vacuum that you're going to want to check out i'm happy with the suction power the mop is good enough again it's just like you're wiping your floor with a damp paper towel so that's what you should expect out of this the dust bin has plenty of room to get your house clean without having to empty it right away and it's just very easy to set up when it works with the smart life app or their own clone of that the cordy robot app it's just a very easy experience that anybody can set up and it does have some integrations with amazon alexa and google assistant so it really has a lot of great features now again in the future i'd love to have lidar with it and i'd love to have the two-in-one mopping functionality built right in so you don't have to swap anything out where it can actually do the vacuuming and mopping at the same time like the l900 can where it has the two-in-one dustbin which i think is a pretty sweet thing but again at this price point, you're getting a lot of features and you'll get a good enough clean because in my book, any RoboVac is better than no RoboVac. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.